Bro, imagine I'm doing a 10 year bid, bro. I can count on my hand the letters that I got from my family, dog. That shit hurt me, dog. That shit hurt me to my heart, bro. 10 years. I can count on my hand, like, all right, probably about 10 letters I got, probably about three money orders. All right, bet. We back, we back in hustle mode. All right, bet. Laundry, boom. We charging $5 to wash the clothes. Boom, boom, boom. I got about 60 clients. I'm bringing probably like $150 a month. Let's run it. Oh, you want your clothes on? We got the press machine that's going to cost you $2 for the pants, $1.50 for the shirt. You want some socks too? I got you. What you need? Your, your drawers yellow. You need some new pack of drawers? Boom, I got you. I work in the inventory. You want the three pack or the five pack? Whatever you need, I got it. Don't even trip. I'm back in hustle mode. I ain't counting on no money. Okay, bet. Oh, they got five units. Guess what? I need so many people in each unit to bring me so much money. We ain't tripping. But the problem with that is you get used to being in hustle mode. Mm. And because you're in hustle mode, we all know that there's no, that means you in hustle mode because you don't feel safe. Because somebody in safe mode, you ain't in hustle mode. Mm -mm. You good. I don't care what's going on my I'm safe. We eat. Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> so you start adapting to your survival natures. Mm. And that that's a whole nother now we talking about chemical imbalance that's survival is a whole nother chemical release than being calm and so now what happens is your body starts to do that now you start to always be in fight or flight fight mode or fl because you always in fight or flight mode now you can't be an elite decision maker you can't focus you can't even think straight you can't be an elite decision maker you can't do that so again we got to find a way and that's what healing come in at for us as men. That's what us becoming better fathers, us becoming better dads, us being able to, one of the things I, I really be holding myself on with is making a decision when it comes to like sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, we not about to be out here. Just, bro, I'm in a situation in my life, bro, where I'm successful, I'm everywhere, I'm in Atlanta, bro. Bro, I could be a freaking porn star if I wanted to. You feel me? But I make the decision to say, bro, we not doing that. I got a daughter. I got moral code, I got integrity, and I personally can't be out here saying I'm empowering people if I'm trying to screw everybody I'm trying to empower. I gotta move a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? So now you have to now start saying, I gotta safeguard myself. What is the rules and declarations? What is the oaths and the codes that we have on our own self as men? What's that oath and that code, that morale that I live by? Every time they motherfuckers get hard, I ain't got to go jump on something, bro. Sit your stupid ass down, <laughs> man. Go work out or something. Yeah, go jump in the shower, my dog. Nah, facts. That's the the important, the you power of like, the power of discipline. That's it, bro. Uh, Jocko, I can't think his name, say discipline. Discipline is freedom. Mm -hmm. And I said that a man who is undisciplined cannot accomplish nothing in this world, yet he is setting himself up for disaster. Mm. Bro, we look at the great men in the world. What is what is always taking them down? Lack of discipline. Mm -hmm. Whether it was their anger, whether it was their lust, they ain't had no discipline. So if you ain't got no discipline, if you can't control your anger, that's one thing I had to learn how to master because survival mode keeps you angry. Mm -hmm. That keeps you angry because you mad that you in survival mode all the goddamn time. And now you start looking at people not in survival mode like, why you ain't in this mode? Why you ain't getting it like this? Why you ain't feeling like this? Why you ain't at it like this? Why you ain't hustling like me? Cause you surviving. I'm living. Mm. It's two different mindsets we got going on here. You survive. I'm living. What are we doing? Mm. And so as you start to understand what are the things that put you in that mode and now go back to it, bro. That's why I pray so much. That's why I fast so much. That's why I read the Quran and the Bible so much. It's because I always want to be the man that say, yo, I got control. I got control of myself. I got control of my thoughts. I got control of my, my disciplines, bro. I'm not letting nobody trick me out of my position. Bro, I'll bump into somebody and be like, hey, my bad, dog. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Bro, you good? Mm -hmm. I'm good, bro. I don't drink. You know why? Because it takes me out of... But people, also, people don't understand. Like, you talk about this a lot. How much it costs to be a, a black uh, person? How much it costs? How much does America cost? Well, he right? just listened to my last episode. But, he good. Nah. He good. <laughs> he good. He good. <laughs> but the thing about it is like... But even that though, like, but how much it costs much to it not costs. be disciplined though? How much it costs you? That's what you need to see because that can cost you a lot. Well, it's gonna cost you everything. The cost, we always look at, 
the actual dollar amount that something is costing us in the moment, but we're not looking at the repercussions of what the price is going to cost us. Mm. So think about this. I hire about 13 people that work with me, not for me. I take care of my mama. I take care of my daughter mama. I take care of my daughter. My homie, who actually saved me from a murder charge when I first came home from prison, a dude did me some dumb crap in New Orleans, and I called my dog. I said, bro, bring a chopper, bro. My dog brought a chopper to me, and he said, bro, check this out. I'm not going to tell you not to do this, but just know we just come home from doing a bid. He just did 15, 20 for man's law, I did 10. He said, I ain't going to tell you not to do it, but don't let him trick you out your spot. Mm. My dog, we both hit us. <clears throat> I wind up not doing it. I let him. He asked me for $1,500. He wanted to go to the fight. Um, but he had just, he, he paying for his wedding. That's the reason why. Weddings cost. <laughs> <laughs> Weddings cost. Yeah. So he said, um, and I'm going to give it back to you um, when I get when I get paid Monday. I'm like, all right, bet. So he went to the, the fight, and he went to, he a 49ers fanatic. Went to the 49ers game. Monday came. He said, I'm about to send you the money now. I'm just making sure the, the information good. I said, bro, you ain't even got to send it to me. I just want to see if you're going to be a man of your word. I said, I'm good, bro. I'm straight. Why did I say that? Integrity going to go a long way with me. But at the same time, what would it cost him if he didn't show up and hold his word down? Mm. A lot more than 1500 You feel me? It's going to cost you way more than 1500 A lot more. You feel me? What does it cost for you being a person that provides for your family and provides for all these people and you go to, you go to jail for something stupid? Mm. Now, that cost. What happened if I'm here in the street, I'm drinking and driving, and I and I wreck my car or get in an accident? Yeah, I got life insurance and all that, but guess what? What happens when my daughter don't grow up without her daddy? What happens to my daughter mama when she don't got the person to, what happens to my mama? What happens to the 13 people? What happens to the brand that I'm building? What happens to the people that I'm impacting? The cost. The cost of no discipline is destruction. Yo, you know it's crazy. I had a question on here, and I was gonna ask you, but I think we just unpacked the answer to it. Because even when it comes to like parenting, the scariest thing is that we can be the best parents we can, but our child's, children still gonna be whoever they want to be. Yeah. And I was gonna ask you, like, since we talk about the price of everything, what's the cost of freedom? Mm -hmm. And I think we just unpacked that without even knowing. I, in my opinion, I'm gonna ask you the question, mm -hmm. but I think the cost of freedom is discipline. One hundred percent. That's the freedom. Freedom is the dividend of discipline. Mm. Freedom is the dividend of discipline. Because watch this. Discipline is saying you can kill a man, but I'm not. But I'm not. And then what does that blossom into? That man might save my life one day. Mm. Man might save my life one day. Right. Um, freedom. Freedom is having the ability to experience different things in life and then those experience I'll never forget this bro watch this I was in Africa I did 30 days in Africa and I remember seeing this old dude sitting on this stump I was in Tanzania and I, and I went over there and just talked to him because I just something just drove me to him so I went over and I was talking to him and I said man you know where you from and he was like he was from the other side and I was he was telling me he had a wife and the kids and all that and I said, um, well, well, how long is it going to take you to get there? And I was about to give him the money to get there because it wasn't that much. He was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to travel and I'm going to get back there. But you will learn more from traveling than you ever read in a book. Hmm. He said, because every time you travel and you experience the destination, you learn something new. Hmm. And that was profound for me because I was like, wait, what? So now when I travel, I always try to, not take as many pictures for Instagram. I try to be in the moment because when I'm in the moment, you learn something. Mm. You get some type of clarity. You get some type of epiphany, some type of, mm, damn, that makes sense to me. And so for me, freedom is being able to live life on your terms, but still in the parameters of, the, of what you set in place for yourself. So when I go somewhere, I ain't trying to go 
ball out and I want to experience it. I want to live it. I want to enjoy it. I want to take a piece of that place with me when I come back home mm. so I can always live there. And that's what helps me even when I'm at home. Sometimes, bro, I still suffer with survivor's remorse, bro. Mm. That shit is on my heart heavy. But what happens is I think about, damn, what happened when I jumped out that airplane in Dubai, bro? Damn, that shit was dope. I look at the video, it take me to another place, bro. It give me, all right, yep, I won't do this again. Damn, I felt good. I remember being in prison, reading about Kemet, reading about Egypt, but damn, I remember going there and walking through the pyramids of Gaza. I remember going there, climbing up and down, like, damn. I remember how hot it was. All right, bet. I know what it felt like being in Africa for 30 days. I felt like Malcolm X, God dang it. Mm. Okay, that's, mm. so I messed this up, That's it cost me that. All right, I love freedom. I don't, money is a byproduct of your consistency of having big dreams or playing a wealth game at a high level. The freedom is the dividends from it. 